Hello everybody, my name is Sirius Blue and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a water elevator and a couple of other things that you may need to know in order to build one. Oh and by the way, I am actually playing on bedrock, but water elevators will actually work on any version of Minecraft you are playing on. The items that you'll need for the water elevator will actually vary on the height that you have it. However tall you want your water elevator to be is how many pieces of kelp you would like and roughly four times that amount of whatever building block that you use to cover it. You'll only need one water bucket because you'll just put it at the top. If you would like to go up, you need one piece of soul sand. If you would like to go down, you only need one magma block. And you can use two signs to make an entrance for yourself. So I will start off with how to build the actual water elevator. Let's say your house is up there. That's your house right there. And you want to go all the way up there, but you don't want to build a staircase up there. You want to use water elevators. So what we're going to do is actually take whatever material you would like it doesn't have to be glass i'm just using glass so you'll be able to see better and you're actually going to want to build a little one by one column all the way up there now once you've built your one by one column all you're going to need to do is place your water bucket right here at the top and it is going to flow down and then you can actually jump down and i would place two blocks right here and as you break these blocks you can place your signs just like this to stop the water and now you will come into here and place your kelp going all the way to the top. Once you have placed your kelp, you can come down here and break the kelp, break this block underneath and add your soul sand. And now you have a water elevator. Now, the way that I would advise getting down is to actually just come right here, break this block and put some water in it. And now once you go up with the water elevator, you can just fall in the water and you won't die or if you would like what you could do is instead build another one by one column going all the way to the top place water at the top again and then you will also put signs just on these blocks right here to stop the water repeat the process with the kelp break this block and put a magma block now you can go up and down from your house now these water elevators will actually work with players they will also work with items as you can tell and they will even work with mobs you can have your water elevator go as tall as you would like i have this water elevator going all the way to the max height and you don't need to worry about drowning because the bubbles from the co bubble column will actually keep you alive as you can see right here and i made it all the way to max height through the bubble elevator and the way i'm going to get down is by falling See? you can fall from even the max height and land in water and not die there's a couple of different things that you can actually use to stop the water at the bottom for you to enter you could use a door if you would like you can even use buttons item frames or the most common signs you can make some really cool looking pipes if you were to use these trap doors and it could be like your item elevator now these two water elevators are something completely different from the others they do not require for you to leave a gap and they have become my new favorites the chains is a new addition into the game and i think they really look cool you can just walk into the side just like this for both of these kinds. I really hope this helped you guys out. If it did, press that like button. I make Minecraft tutorials every single week, so definitely press that subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Peace.